Morning guys, uh, we're back on, it's another day, still on uh, Harrison Lewis and uh, yeah, hopefully you've been following this uh, little bit of an adventure, yes it was a bit random, today we're on our way down to a really cool lighthouse, uh, it's about an hour's drive away but I keep stopping, I've been taking photographs as I've been driving along and uh, we've just spotted this place and there's not a cat in hell's chance I'm going past this, check that out, look at that, now I've seen other people going through these houses and having a look and being very careful obviously so me and Denise is going to have a bit of a nose now um, in Scotland there's a right to roam but I don't know how that applies to uh, everything so we're going to take our time I've already seen something pretty wicked I'm going to take a few shots in here if I can and uh, a bit of buzzing about it but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to video at the same time I might be able to give it to Denise and get her to video me while I'm doing it but yeah this is a uh, pretty pretty spectacular there's loads of houses like this on the island um, and like I say this is this is right up our street oh, I love stuff like this the, the the stories this could tell us so yeah I'm gonna bob inside get a few shots for you and I'll try and do a little bit of video as well just come inside this little one I'm gonna be careful where I'm stepping but already it just freaks me out this is just something else there's a, a fire down here there's like a little arga and have you seen what's inside the arga someone stuck a sheep's head in there let me just zoom in on it for you check that out there <laughs> that's freaky but it well deserves a photograph definitely definitely well deserves a photograph that does and uh, I'm gonna have to probably go and get my tripod out because we can't hold this still enough probably to get a decent enough image but wow that is really um, something else What I'm doing is shooting handheld, image stabilizer on. I've got the little Fuji out because it's easy to throw around and the live view is great. Uh, I'm at uh, 1600 ISO, which is giving me a shutter speed of about 40th to 80th of a second, so. But that is pretty, pretty, pretty wicked. And look, Mrs. C's here. Can't keep her away from stuff like this either. And yeah, if you're desperate for the loo, obviously there's a lovely pan here. I wouldn't say that there's much hot water in the premises, um, but yeah, all in all pretty good. But... This stuff's just amazing. And uh, this is why I like these little Fuji's. This is when they come into their own, because you just move around, set yourself up a composition, take some record shots because this stuff is just money can't pay for this she's gone into the living room she's gone into the living room which is in there 
there's a sofa up in the air but there's also a chest of drawers in there which is pretty um pretty pretty bonkers so yeah this is going to be a well well interesting adventure today the floor has collapsed in there completely Let's, the floor's collapsed yeah but there so, is oh a bit too close there's a wicked little chair in yeah it. i've just and seen it yeah i was looking for the window just now wicked absolutely mind-blowing look at this the chair and everything so uh, again i'm gonna get myself a shot leaning in and with the live view you can lift the camera up nice and high so you can see you can see me lift the camera up nice and high and just get something random oh you're stuck in the sofa now but yeah this is um Ooh, a bit bonkers. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Oh my god i've just tested the stairs out and uh, the stairs and the floorboards it's pretty well intact to be honest this house is i wouldn't have come up here if it was all collapsing from the outside but the actual fundamental structure is pretty sound um, <clears throat> there's a little ornament down there a little dog ornament like a bookend chairs toy chest it's just uh pretty spooky god there's a door here 
dare I open this door? Oh, oh God! I can't see in there. I don't even know what's. I don't even know what. I don't want to know what's in there. Uh, and obviously this room here, his bedroom. Look at this. So been in the bedroom. Beautiful little ornate fireplace, little chair. It just. It's just absolutely amazing. And this lovely little balcony stairway. Look at this. It's all really solid as well. So pretty cool. Obviously you've got to be careful. You know, I wouldn't recommend anyone coming in here and just walking around. Um, I'm nearly 50. I've had a bit of experience of walking in and out places and stuff like that, but nothing can, uh, don't just don't tempt too much faith. That's all I say. And uh, of course, Mrs. C won't go upstairs. She won't go up. She's got a little bit more sensibility than me. But like I said, it's the fundamental structure is amazing. But wow, what an adventure. What fantastic, fantastic little adventures. <laughs> this is really cool. It makes me heart pump a little bit, which is quite exciting. Oh, look at this. This looks like a, a dog house or a wharf house. <laughs> now that is spooky, babe. There's a shed round here to put a dog in that's big enough to put a wolf in. It's just, that's obviously the water supply. And that must have been, I don't know, if it was for the dogs. Could be chickens, I suppose. Obviously people were self-sufficient back then. What is real, what caught our eye more than anything originally were these, these red tin roofs. Um, so let's set myself up an image for these. Got all that lovely mountainous backgrounds over there. It's really gray, the, the weather's really, really, really really flat and, and nothing and you can see the size of that house look she stood next to it now <laughs> <laughs> i think you find that's a wharf house <laughs> so yeah gets the blood pumping that bit a little bit so uh, yeah really good really exciting <sighs> What do you want? What do you want? Hello? Hello? What do you want? <laughs> How crazy is that? Just pulled the car up to have a look at this little house and all the sheep come running up to us. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you know Kevin any chance? Any of, any of you know Kevin? Do you know Kevin? None of them know Kevin, Dan, I'm sorry. Do you know Kevin? No. No Kevins around here. How mad that is, all the sheep come running up towards us. I suppose they thought we were the farmer. The farmer must have a white car. <laughs>
like we're in another one. This one's not quite as in the same, uh, let's get the light running. This one's not quite the same as the last one, but as much fun anyway. Look at the stuff in here. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Awesome. So, oh, and there's a suitcase down here as well. What's in the suitcase? <laughs> not a lot. Yeah, you just got to be a bit more careful in this one. Um, but weren't them sheep crazy? This is awesome. Uh, set the camera up slightly differently this time because. Last time I was being controlled by what the camera was doing. This time I'm trying to control the camera. Um, I'm on f5.6. I've set the uh, shutter speed to 125th of a second. That way I can keep hold of the, the camera. It's uh, image stabilizer is on and I'm using the 18 to 55 lens. It seems pretty good. I've got the polarizer on at the moment, but I don't need that. And uh, yeah, I've put the ISO on auto. So it pretty much basically means that's shooting at 6,400. Okay, maybe I might switch it up, change it around slightly. That's a little bit higher than what I actually want. Uh, I'll put the ISO back on 1600, I think, and uh, work on something like that. But yeah, let's have a little look in the other rooms, shall we? And see what we can find. Now these floorboards are not safe. Not there, not anyway. So we'll just take each step very carefully and uh, have a little nose. Bring you on a bit of, I think the, the decorating needs a bit, bit of something, but it's still paper on the walls there. Old chair on the floor. But yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think we need to sort the air conditioning unit out because it's um, not working very well. Just watch these floorboards as I'm stepping on them. Yeah, crikey, it's one of them old fold up beds. Old fireplace has been ripped out. But uh, yeah, pretty um, pretty cool. Let's just have a picture of the fireplace, what's still there. So I like the light on it. Pretty awesome. Not as much in this one. Oh, there's a bed there. That's the bed. You just see down there. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. No upstairs in this one. It's a good job because I don't think I'll be going upstairs. Just watching these floorboards again. And there's actually a room here. If we can get in there, can we get in there? <laughs> just about. Just watch where we're putting our feet. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the nails on the joists. And there's another bed. Look at this table where they used to have their dinner probably. Fireplace has been ripped out. And the bed's still here. I mean, it's just, there's an old iron grate down there as well. Old iron grate. But this is just uh, crazily insane, isn't it? So again, I'm just gonna. shots because these are this is history this is pretty pretty cool so I like stuff like this but yeah again when I'm stepping like I say I'm stepping on a joist I can know the nails are there I know that's a join there so if I put my foot on the join, if you can see my feet, where's my feet? Yeah, you can see my feet. That's a join there. So I know that that's a pretty safe piece of wood underneath. And uh, I'm basically working like that. I know there's another join there. And then I can get on this tin and work the way back out. So yeah, I suppose it helps working with timber. Um, and I've done a bit of renovation on house properties before with helping friends and stuff. So it does help knowing where the structural points are that would help walking in so I'm going to try and get a, a wide shot of this wind the camera back down so I'm going to have to put you down to change it back over but this island is not an easy island to navigate and walk around because it's so boggy everywhere but we're on the little island of Scalpe at the moment and uh, we're heading for a, our next proper location which in all fairness is, is going to be pretty spectacular 
yeah, loving this. On again, um, just seeing me in that little uh, red tin house. We're now at our location, which is literally, you can just see the red tin house just over there. So we've just come around the corner and look, the road stops, <laughs> there's, there's no more road. So we are where we are. We've just seen a signpost down the hill a little bit um, to the name of the place of where we're going. So uh, we're gonna kit up, gonna change my boots. 